do bosses like Michael Scott actually exist? And if you work, Ed for one, what's your craziest story? <laughs> Worked with a genuine Michael Scott, I, E, a nice, well-meaning person who just did some absurd things. We had kidnapping drills one day, where we learned how to not be kidnapped. Notably, this was a regular, boring office in a regular, boring suburb. No reason why kidnapping would be on anybody's radar. He and several of the guys randomly broke out into a push-up contest. Again, white-collar office, middle-aged dudes in khakis, couldn't remember the nationality of our Hispanic colleague, tried to learn Spanish to make her feel special when she returned from maternity leave. 1. What he learned was not Spanish. And 2. She was from Portugal. She knew like five words of Spanish, disappeared for four days, no call, no email, wouldn't respond to any of our attempts to reach him. Finally, someone drove out to his house to make sure he was alive. He was, he'd just forgotten to tell us he was taking the week off, and then lost his phone in a lake. There were many, many moments like these. Great boss, genuinely cared about everyone in the company occasional moments of brilliance, where he really got things done. But OMG, so many moments of ridiculousness. I worked for a woman as her personal assistant, cat sitter. She was super rich and off the deep end nuts. She had me order a mannequin online, and then paid me to take one of the mannequin legs to Nordstrom to try and see what suitcase I could buy that would fit the dismembered mannequin body because she wanted to fly with the mannequin to Pittsburgh to display, as her daughter, dressed in her daughter's clothes, at that daughter's graduation celebration. Buying the mannequin was a whole thing too. She kept trying to get me to order from adult doll websites because she didn't get it. LMAO. He held a meeting with our whole team less one person to discuss said person being gay. We all knew for well over a year and never made a deal of it. So yes, they are out there and that is why the show is so funny to me. I can relate. I literally had a boss who would stop us in the middle of our work and hold company-wide meetings, talking about 9-11 truth or conspiracies and chemtrails. Mind you, we were furniture-making company. He would get so caught up in his conspiracy theories that he forgot to order wood to make furniture. One month. We had an anonymous feedback program at work, and our boss was livid with the results, particularly with several comments that he frequently lost his temper in meetings and would yell at us. The more he talked about how incorrect and unfair and hurtful these comments were, the redder and angrier he got, until he finally pounded the table and shouted, I do not scream in meetings, okay? My brother had two bosses at his first job that I think fit this. It was an old married couple that owned the gym across the street from us. Probably in their 70s when he started working there. The wife was from Germany and super strict. The husband was clearly losing it some notable mentions or when the husband combined bleach and ammonia to clean the hot tub and sauna room. Terragassing my brother in the process, wife insisted the street be swept once a week. This was my brother's task. Almost every single time, the husband would come out halfway through with a leaf blower and destroy any progress my brother had made. Husband would regularly sit in the sauna for way too long and have to be rescued by brother and co-workers. Brother open every Saturday. They never gave him a key so he would have to hop the fence to get in. There's so many more but I know he's asleep right now and I can't ask him. I had one and these are just a few quick stories. He asked me how much I weighed during my interview. One time he was considering selling the company to a Japanese company and while walking them around the building he was hurt saying, we really bombed the hell out of you. Huh. He got on the intercom and interrupted everyone by yelling for someone to bring him the football team's schedule. I have video of him telling a really cringy joke during a sales meeting. You could see at least one person covering their face in embarrassment. One time he told me to 
call his assistant and have her bring him a bag of coffee and his five pounds dumbbell. He had a secret facelift. He was mysteriously gone for three weeks and came back with a beard. I ended up with a box of pictures from the 70s with an exotic dancer giving him a lap dance. In the conference room, same furniture. One time I watched his business partner go down the potluck line, tasting everything with the same fork. At the end of the line, he stuck his used fork into the cake. I haven't eaten at a work buffet since. Honestly, these are just the ones I immediately remember. It was five years of this. Edit. This seemed relevant. One time he got new patio furniture and sent the guys from the shipping department to put it together at his house. Orders did not go out that day. Edit 2. He had a huge closet where he'd hoard random shit. He was a total pack rat and his wife didn't let him keep junk at home. I was looking for something one day and found a box labeled, Watches with Dead Batteries. He saved an entire box of watches that he knew didn't currently work and also knew how to fix that, but instead, he just kept them in a box. My boss used to carry around a backpack full of hammers and if you fell asleep at your desk he started banging a hammer in your desk until you woke up and then he would autograph the hammer and give it to you as a gift. Never have worked for one myself. But my dad told me a story about his boss who was giving out awards to everyone in honor of how long they've worked there, and he would give speeches for each person. A woman employee received her award and he gave a speech about the story of how she came to work there, and he said, at first I didn't want to hire her because she was so hot. My dad's not working there anymore. But I love that story because I will never not picture Michael Scott giving Pam a Dundee and saying that about her. <laughs> yep, I had one. Organized a thoroughly awkward award ceremony once that we never did again. Asked a Mexican employee if his new baby's name was going to be No Moss during the shower we threw. For him, heard me once use the phrase economy of scale then used it wrong five minutes later in a conversation with different people. Didn't know the meaning behind Black Friday, and what it meant for a company to be in the black. Just like Michael Scott, only more of a dick. <laughs>